In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on November 17, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Brooklyn Nets vs. Portland Trail Blazers On Thursday night, the Brooklyn Nets traveled to the Moda Center for an inter-conference road match with the Portland Trail Blazers. The Nets were hammered 153-121 by the Sacramento Kings Tuesday. The Trail Blazers escaped with a 117-110 home win over the San Antonio Spurs. Looking at the betting trends, the Nets are 3-11 against the spread in their last 14 games following a loss and 5-12-1 against the spread in their last 18 games over Overall, the Trail Blazers are 4-1 against the spread in their last five games following a win and 4-9 against the spread in their last 13 games against a team with a losing record. Head-to-head, -head, the under is 4-1 in the last five meetings in Portland and the Nets are 4-1 against the spread in the last five meetings in Portland. Brooklyn just gave up an astounding 153 points in a loss to Sacramento earlier this week. Even if the Nets had Kyrie Irving on the floor, I am not sure they could have scored enough to keep it competitive. Kevin Durant is trying to settle this team down, but with the Kyrie saga and Ben Simmons still not much of a factor, it is hard to see how this team wins, with every game with season is getting closer to being lost. Portland has been a pleasant surprise so far in 2022-2023. The Trail Blazers are leading the Northwest Division thanks to a trio of 20-plus PPG scores in Damian Lillard, Anthony Simons, and Jeremy Grant. Rookie sheet on Sharp has looked good, too. Portland might actually have some staying power in a season that looked like it might be heading to the lottery next summer. The Blazers have even won some games with Lillard out of the lineup. It is amazing how much respect the Nets are still getting in the market. The Blazers are just small favorites at home, indicating the only difference between the teams right now is the location of the game. I think that is far from the case, and if you see Lillard and Durant as canceling each other out, there are a lot of advantages for Portland. The Portland Trail Blazers are fair more consistent and trustworthy regardless if Kyrie plays or not. The Nets still don't play much defense, and the Trail Blazers win by an average of 10 points while shooting 52.9% from the field in the favorite role. The Nets will surely come out firing after getting embarrassed by the Kings in their last outing, but they've been really inconsistent this season, especially compared to the Trail Blazers who are coming into this one with plenty of momentum as they've won four of their last five. I'm sure we'll see a big bounce back performance from Durant, but I'm sticking with the more reliable Trail Blazers to get the W here. Plus, the last time we saw the Nets they were just awful. They are not built to bounce back quickly either, so the Portland Trail Blazers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Trail Blazers are bottom 5 in the league in pace through their 10-4 start to the year. They are a much better club defensively than they have been in the last two years, and the return of Joseph Nurkic to the lineup certainly helps in that regard. They stand 7th in defensive rating and look to be a much more efficient club defensively this year. Brooklyn served up a franchise-high 153 points to the Sacramento Kings in their last game. It was a dismal defensive effort, but the Kings played the game of their life. I believe Brooklyn will put forth at least double the effort on that that end in this one, getting embarrassed as professionals two days prior. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. San Antonio Spurs vs. Sacramento Kings The San Antonio Spurs will head up the coast to take on the Sacramento Kings on Thursday night. The Spurs come into this game at just 6-9 but have played competitively thus far and have lived on an offensive-centric attack. The Kings are 7-6 on the season and quietly sit in second place in the Pacific Division as they continue to gel with a relatively new roster. Looking at the betting trends, the Spurs are 10-4 against the spread in their last 14 road games, 14-3 against the spread in their last 17 games against a team with a winning record, and 19-7 against the spread in their last 26 games overall. The Kings are 4-0 against the spread in their last four home games, 4-0 against the spread in their last four games against a team with a losing record, and 5 
0 against the spread in their last five games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the over is 6-2 in the last eight meetings in Sacramento. The Spurs are 1-4 against the spread in the last five meetings in Sacramento, and the Spurs are 4-9 against the spread in the last 13 meetings overall. The West Coast road trip is one of the hardest to do in all of sports, and the Spurs have struggled on the trip, and I expect it to continue against the Kings. Sacramento has a great offense while San Antonio has struggled defensively and leave a lot of players open. Sacramento should be able to score a ton of points on the Spurs who are allowing the most points in the league. The Kings are also shooting the ball well while San Antonio is letting opponents shoot 49.8% from the field and 32.5% from three. I'm still not to the point where I want to lay decent-sized numbers with the Sacramento Kings, but the San Antonio Spurs are falling apart before our eyes. The Spurs are losing by an average of 7.5 points on the season, 9 points on the road and 7 points in their last 5 games. The Kings are playing good ball for the most part, and their offense has caught fire. Against these Spurs, this could get ugly. Here we have a classic tale of two teams headed in opposite directions as the Spurs have been ice cold lately and still couldn't get past the Trail Blazers on Tuesday, despite a monster game from Popol. While the Kings have been one of the hottest teams in the league and they just put 153 points on the Nets, the Kings are 5-0 against the spread in their last five games overall and I believe that trend continues here against a struggling Spurs team. So the Sacramento Kings to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Sacramento can score a ton of points quickly while San Antonio allows a ton of points, and that will force the Spurs to play at a faster pace. San Antonio already ranks sixth at pace of play at 104.2, while Sacramento ranks ninth with a pace of 103.6. In Sacramento's last 10 games, they are averaging 238 points per game, while the Spurs games are averaging 227 and a half points per game. With how the Kings' offense is playing, to hit the over San Antonio will likely just need to score a tad over 100 points which they have done in all but one game this season. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Detroit Pistons vs. Los Angeles Clippers The Detroit Pistons and Los Angeles Clippers lock horns Thursday, November 17, 2022, at Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles, California, to open their two-game regular season series. The Clippers shoot for their seventh consecutive victory over the Pistons after sweeping Detroit in each of the previous three seasons. Looking at the betting trends, the Pistons are 1-6-1 to to against the spread in their last eight road games and 1-5 to against the spread in their last six games following and against the spread win. The Clippers are 2-5 against the spread in their last seven home games, 4-1 against the spread in their last five games against a team with a losing record, and 4-1 against the spread in their last five games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the under is 7-2 in the last nine meetings overall, and the Pistons are 4-1 against the spread in the last five meetings in Los Angeles. The Pistons have ruled out Cade Cunningham again while Corey Joseph is questionable, while the Clippers are keeping an eye on Luke Kennard who is day-to-day. -day. Without Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, Cade Cunningham, and Isaiah Stewart. This game has been sapped of its box office appeal, but believe it or not, they're still going to play the game. The Pistons are getting 9 points, which is at least partially due to the fact that they're 1-6-1 to to against the spread in their last 8 road games. Los Angeles, who is 8-1 against the spread in its last 9 games versus a team with a winning percentage below .400, will be without its 2 stars and could be missing Luke Kennard. They can rely, however, on John Wall and Nick Bottom. The Pistons haven't been able to stay competitive at all this season. Season, which is why it was surprising how close they kept it against the Raptors on Monday. But the Clippers have been on a nice run and they are coming into this one fresh off a painful loss. If the Clippers are still capable of playing as well as they have on the defensive side of the ball this season, Detroit will stand no chance. The line is a little hefty, but I believe that the Clippers bounce back with a big W here. So the Los Angeles Clippers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The under is 6-0 in the Clippers' last six games following and against the spread win and 4-0 in their last four home games against a team with a losing road record. These two teams are bottom five in offensive rating adjusted for strength of schedule, and that's with those players on the court. The under is 7-2 in the last nine meetings between Los Angeles and Detroit. With key players on both teams' sideline, these trends should continue to play out. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.